Hey guys, I've actually got a pretty exciting tutorial today, and if you haven't tell, if you can't tell by the title, it is how to change uh, black and white video to color. So this is the original here. If you haven't seen this video, it is actually one of my YouTube videos, which is in color, but uh, I exported it as black and white so I could convert it back. And this is applicable to any black and white footage or pictures even. Uh, we're gonna turn this into this. So here's the original. Just a quick clip, and then the finished is this a lot more colorful and a lot more lively than the black and white. And if you look at the actual original, there's not a whole lot of a difference. In fact, you could almost say it looks better. Um, this is a very blue tinted uh, video, and this one is more warm. And then you could, of course, just apply color correction, but. Uh, this is pretty similar and uh, this was just in about five minutes of work so without further ado let's start we're just going to drag our black and white footage into a new comp and we'll select a time frame in which we want to um, do it to and this process is very simple and essentially what we're going to do is the first thing we do is we have to do some rotoscoping now before I start rotoscoping, I've gotten many tutorial. I've had many tutorials with rotoscoping techniques and stuff, so check them out. But if you haven't noticed, this uh, process is actually done by Disney, and when they restored movies like Mary Poppins and such, and this can make you a lot of money. And although it's probably one of the most time-consuming things you can do, because it is rotoscoping. Uh, it is amazing and if you do it right you can get some really awesome results so first thing we're going to do is because I'm using CS6 or C if you have CS5 and above use the rotor brush if not just make masks and uh, what we're going to do is double click on our footage and we're going to select the first area we would like to color so alt W I believe is the shortcut yep so we're going to go ahead and paint out this couch here um, I know it's a couch and if you don't know what colors you're supposed to use in the footage that's kind of the beauty of it is you can make up whatever colors you want and make sure and it will look decent so um, yep we're just going to do a quick roto of this couch here the footage quality is not the best so that will mean it roto faster but uh, yeah so this this will do um, and we'll just leave these two parts black so just go forward here make sure you extend this as you can see here, we get some more black we don't want to fill in. That, but the nice thing about black is it doesn't really show if you add color to it, which is what we're going to be doing essentially. But uh, like I said, this is a very quick process that doesn't take a whole lot of time. And we'll just uh, finish off here. And uh, just we'll just space bar it. And there we go. Now, so we, we're going to go back into the composition here. And you can see we have this rotated out. Obviously, with all these little whiskers and stuff hanging off, it's it makes it a little more hard, uh, complex. So it's best to do this with simple shots when you begin. And we're just going to select our footage here, layer, auto trace, and um, I've used these settings. Okay, and make sure it's set to work area. Make sure work area is not humongous. And now we just have a shape layer with uh, all of the info. Sorry, my mic's being annoying. It's broken, actually. So now we can just delete the rotor brush, which saves us a lot of rendering time. And we're going to change the transfer mode of this solid to color. If you can't see it, press F4. All right, and now we're going to go select that auto trace layer, and you can just call this couch. Uh, ouch works as well. Ah, sorry about that guys, if you heard a little bit of background noise there, that was um, my microphone and it's pretty much detached from my headphones which is makes it really hard. So select your ouch layer or your couch and go to solid settings, control shift Y and great thing about this is we can live preview it. So we're going to go down here to the orangish area and start adding brown. As you can see that looks really cheap right now but if we start to make it darker you can see it starts to actually look like a leather couch. And one of the great things is a lot of the highlights are going to be maintained. And we'll just click OK. And you can see we have a little spillover. But uh, what we'll do is go into the mask options, select Add. 
and we can expand it a little bit and then feather it and uh, yeah it's just all about tweaking it to make it look uh, the way you want it to all right so now we're just going to uh, close the, uh, <laughs> collapse that and we're gonna go to the next part and we'll go ahead and do the darker part of the fur here so let's double click on it again Roto brush it's okay we can take all this out later uh, take out the white here and just for simplicity we get the ears and stuff here make sure we don't get the eyes and um that should just about do it here and uh go ahead and space bar through this and it should do the pretty good job good enough at least all right then the same thing go back into composition select your footage layer auto trace work area okay that take a few seconds uh delete the rotor brush again uh, we can call this dark fur and go into the mask options mm for this one the eyes leave these ones and set them to subtract uh, but the top one that is the main area and we're going to want that as add so then let's change it to color uh, layer solid settings and you know we can make this cat any color but I know this cat is mine and I know it's orange so just a little bit of subtlety there and realize the darker it goes the more kind of subtle and detailed it looks and since I, I've done this one very quickly we want to feather it out again just because and we don't really need to worry about the eyes too much here because we're going to make another layer of them. And I feel like we need to fix it again. We could seriously make this a green cat. I mean, it wouldn't look realistic, but we could make it a green cat. Um, we could actually probably trick the audience into thinking this is a blackish cat. Although, that kind of ruins the point of black and white, doesn't it? Um... So yeah, we'll go with that for now. Um, possibly it'd be nice to add contrast, more contrast between this background couch and whatnot. That, this cat does look sickly. Take in, deal, take in mind that uh, this one was a lot better. So, Okay, next up is the eyes. Eyes are very easy, very quick. And let's take a little bit of detail outside of them. And uh, just uh, go through that there. Go over here. Layer auto trace. All right. Delete the rotor brush. And solid settings. And we're gonna make the eyes a really subtle yellow. As you can see, that's really subtle. <laughs> um, there's a terrible roto there. Oh well. Um, and let's set the color. And for some reason, that's being weird. Um, so yeah, there's the eyes there. For some reason, the left one is messed up. Uh, oh well. Next step is to do the mouth. And the great thing about the mouth is, uh, because there's black when we do the color transfer mode it's not going to affect it so that's the great part about that composition layer auto trace and uh, just so we don't get confused here eyes mouth and delete the rotor brush Bear in mind that this is terrible quality footage, and uh, yeah, it's better if you turn it to color beforehand because now it looks like he cast feminine lips. But that's all right, and that is actually pretty much it. Um, I did a really bad roto on that left eye, but uh, relatively close to the original result, if not better. Um, I think if we made this couch a little bit darker, the contrast would make it look better. Um, 
it's all about tweaking and uh, you realize how much money you can make from this people will pay you to restore film like this and uh, it's I've never done it personally but uh, it's great finish result here it's great and this is also obviously applicable to photos and uh, thank you guys for watching please rate comment subscribe more tutorials to come soon hopefully some more awesome film restoration things if I can figure anything else out so see you guys